LLMs have almost conquered mathematics. In International Math Olympiad 2025, two models from two different companies have matched a gold medal level performance. The best part here is that this is not a benchmarking that happened with the past data set. It is not like somebody went to 2024 and took the data set. So there is no way the model could have any leakage because this competition, this contest happened along with humans. Olympiad is happening 2025, humans are participating. Along the same time, these companies, the LLM providers also have put their model forward and they have participated with it. There are six problems and out of six problems, five problems had been solved by both Google and OpenAI. And this is pretty interesting and pretty fascinating to see, but there is a bit of controversy. So in this video, we're going to address the controversy and also understand what kind of model it could be. So on July 19th, OpenAI announced, OpenAI's researcher Alexander V announced that the latest experimental reasoning LLM. So this is a reasoning LLM that's very interesting. It seems like the future is going to be only reasoning models has achieved a long-standing grand challenge in AI gold medal level performance on the world's most prestigious math competition the IMO International Math Olympiad I think this is the biggest most important thing the LLM participated with the same rule as human beings I don't know how many of you have participated on Kaggle competition this is a very interesting and important aspect so you could give 25 hours to compute and then you could expect a completely different result than when you give 4.5 hours to a compute. So the, this, this is very critical. And here the exam happens for four hours, four and a half hours. And LLMs also had the same time like human contestants. So that's a very interesting information. Two 4.5 hour exam sessions, no tools, no internet. So the LLM could not have used any tool. So this is another thing. Uh, you can ask LLM to solve a lot of math problems and the LLMs could just go use terminal bash. This particular case, it's just like the raw LLM as it is. There is no tool. There is no internet and reading the official problem statement and writing natural language proof, like literally like how human would answer. So they answered like that. So this is 2025 IMO problem one. There is like the problem that they've given. Why is it a big deal? It is a big deal because it's a general purpose reasoning model. It's not a model that was fine tuned only for math. It's not a model that was designed to play Dota. It's not a model that was designed to play chess. See, we have seen a lot of models like that from DeepMind as a company, the model played Dota, model played uh, what sort of games that you want, like Go, all these things. But this is a general purpose model, right? It means it's, it's like a model that you and I would end up using in the future. So this general purpose model without any tool, without any internet access, in fact, this model didn't even use lean. So this model answered natural how you humans would answer. Like if you get a math problem, you'd be like, oh, X is equal to two, A is equal to B. Like you would write naturally. IMO submissions are hard to verify multi-page proofs. Progress here calls for going beyond the RL paradigm of clear cut verifiable rewards. By doing so, we have obtained a model that can craft intricate watertight arguments at the level of human mathematicians. The most important thing for me is that this is general purpose model. The model did not use any tool. The model did not have access to internet. And yet within 4.5 hours, like four and a half hours, just like another human being sitting, I mean, sitting next to it. I shouldn't say sitting next to it. Like you're not sitting next to an AI, just like another human being competing in this competition the model managed to get five out of six correctly. So uh, five of the six problems of 2025 for each problem, three former IMO medalists independently graded the model submitted proof with scores finalized after unanimous consensus. The model earned 35 out of 42 points in total, enough for a gold medal. A very similar story with Google as well. This announcement is from OpenAI. The similar story from Google is an advanced version of Google Gemini with deep think. Again, reasoning officially achieves gold medal standard at the International Math Olympiad. They, they're talking about the previous model that scored like four problems. It scored 28. Now, you know, it definitely scored much more. So this is 2024, IMO 2024, uh, alpha proof, geometry. These are like proper mathematics model, right? And in 2025, They've done exactly what OpenAI has done. Maybe the path would have been different. They've taken a general purpose model, which is advanced Gemini with deep thing, which is again like a general purpose model. And that has managed to solve IMO 2025 while the competition was happening. So IMO president himself has confirmed that uh, Google DeepMind has scored 35 out of 42 points, a gold medal score, very similar like OpenAI. While both the companies have done really good with this competition, there is a flame war happening in, on the internet. And the reason is because OpenAI made this announcement for the first time. Okay. So they announced it much before Google DeepMind. And uh, Demis Hassabis, CEO of Google DeepMind, founder of DeepMind, which was acquired later by Google, who is 
like probably internet's favorite boy at this point in AI. So Demis Asab is after announcing this, um, this happened on July 21st, OpenAI announced on July 19th. After announcing this, Demis Asab is said this thing. Okay. By the way, as an aside, we did not announce the result on Friday because we respected the IMO board's original request that all AI labs share their result only after the official results have been verified by independent experts. And the students had rightly received the acclamation that they deserved because obviously there are humans involved. We have now been can, uh, given permission to share the result. This is an indirect jibe at OpenAI for sharing the result earlier. In OpenAI's defense, Noam Brown, who is, uh, I think, head of reasoning, um, something like that. Congrats to G GDM. GDM stands for Google DeepMind on their IMO result. Um, their approach was a bit different than ours. I don't know how did they get to know the approach, but I think that shows that there are many research directions for future further progress. Now, there is a lot of information. The main thing is after they submitted, before we shared our result, we spoke with an IMO board member who asked us to wait until after the award ceremony to make it public. A request we happily honored. We announced that 1 a.m. PT uh, Pacific time, um, I'm not going to do the time zone conversion, after the award ceremony concluded. At no point did anyone request that we announce later than that. More than anything, we are excited to share our product. So OpenAI is saying that we, we obliged to the request of IMO board and we didn't do anything wrong. While the entire internet at this particular point is mad at OpenAI because they think that OpenAI did this, shared this before even the students could get their, uh, you know, the due recognition that they deserve. I don't know. Um, there's like, there's a huge, huge uh, fight happening on the internet. Somebody is like, oh, Google has got like great resource, but you know, Sundar, Sundar Pichai, CEO of Google is not chasing the cloud like Sam Altman. I think, I don't know. I don't know. I feel it's quite unwarranted at this particular point. I think, uh, I don't even think Sam Altman has anything to do with this announcement, particularly, you know, the CEO of Sam Alt uh, CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman. But at this particular point, I think it's a great thing um, for uh, humanity, especially when you advance in fields like physics, mathematics, biology. I think it can advance a lot of things like uh, pharmaceuticals, medicine. We can probably have like cheaper drugs and a lot of interesting things, right? Not just like putting programmers out of the job, which is what literally every company is trying to do with this model. So anyways, I'm very happy to see this particular result and it's a general purpose model. I wish they shared more results. Like did they scale RL reinforcement learning? Did they do something interesting? We would have to wait and watch this, but very happy that this has happened. Let me know what you feel about this, especially if you think that the controversy is warranted, like, you know, the flack that OpenAI is receiving on the internet is like needed or we should just like celebrate the success. Let me know what you think about it. See you in another video. Happy prompting.